So well, nowadays we get flowers from all over the world. And um, a lot of them are grown in Southern California. They brought plants from South Africa and started farming them right in the LA area, the Santa Barbara area. So we can get the proteas and kangaroo paws. And um, a lot of the orchids, they even greenhouse up in places like Minnesota, I imagine. That seems unlikely, but some of the prettiest ones come out of them. Actually, the northeast area of the country. Back. What do you think for fall? Unlike these, these are probably from the, these the big rose hips. Uh, fall's already here, pretty good there. So there's one. It's like it's two. Similar. <laughs> cut them and they actually drink through the petal. So when we get them in, like these probably came from um, Ecuador, Costa Rica, somewhere like that right now. And there's so much where if you wonder why they're so expensive, we get them, we have to tip them upside down, let them drink through the heads for um, oh, a good two hours. And then the next thing you know, you've used them. Um, I don't know, 100 gallons of water by the time you soak 100 heads, you know. And then, you cut them, feed them, put them in the cooler in there. A lot of work. And that's with all, all the hydrangeas. This is probably the most expensive. These are running like 15 to 20 dollars a stem. And here we go with the cattails. Now this one's a little different. It'll be the same. Vegas, you just can't grow these. You have to have them shipped in. You always have damage and loss, which we have to account for because we ordered 10 and two are damaged, we still have to pay for 10. So that's always reflected in the price. And you'll notice they're not like your grocery store flowers. You know, a little nicer, a little more work. Don't get me wrong, we can do that grocery store one just as well. sedum plant. Stick that in there. Okay. That's what you get. So, same product, real similar. And hopefully the client likes them. <laughs> 